This is a quick video to show you how to create a parallel corpor corpora on using Sketch Engine. And then I'll make another video a bit later to show you how you can explore parallel corpora. So um, I'm going to assume that you have a Sketch Engine subscription of some kind. And if you do, that you know how to log in. So I'm logged in already. I'm in uh, on the dashboard. I can come from here to create a new corpora, corpus. Um, that's what I'll do right now. Or you could all another way you can do it is to go to part corpora select corpus and create a new corpus from there you need to give it a name since my one's clockwork orange i'm going to call it clockwork orange in translation and obviously at this stage since it's a parallel corpus it's multilingual corpus now in order for this to work you can click on this and it will tell you why don't we do that just now so as it explains here you upload a data in tabular format and spreadsheets must contain language names in the first row then align segments side by side so what this looks like is this one which i prepared earlier so essentially you have the language name at the top so it can recognize that then you have the aligned segments the translation units down here all the way down and Obviously, it takes a while to prepare this, but once it's ready, it's all it can all be uploaded. So that's my document. That's what I need in order to do this. So all I do at this stage, once it's ready, is choose my file. I know it's this file, the one we just looked at. Open it. And once it's recognized it, it will tell you which languages are. I think you can change these. I don't think there's any particular need at this stage because it will tell you what the corpus is anyway. And as it says, it will process them in these ways and then it will compile them. At this stage, what it's doing is splitting them into different, into individual words. Then it's going to be deciding for each word, whether it's a noun, verb, adjective, etc., that sort of thing. And it gives you an idea here about how long it will take. And when it's ready, this is what you see. You'll see that you've got one English, one Spanish, one French, you could even have a go to the dashboard to see what it is or you can start with doing a parallel concordance which i'll do next time or i can come here go to select corpus into my corpora and i'll see that they are here clockwork orange in translation english french spanish that means i can search in each one individually and that's how it's done very easy